nearly as good as Dwarf Therapist, but not. Oh, oh, yeah, um, yeah, we'll, we'll use Dwarf Therapist for job management. I'm not too worried about that. Do we only start with one? I think we, um, usually you start with two Dwarf, you know what, I'm going to load up Dwarf Therapist. Let's see. This should be the latest version. Okay, I'm in it and, oh, it's not showing up on my screen. Hold on one second. Dwarf Therapist, right there. Uh, there it is, huzzah. There's Dwarf Therapist um, and what do we want to do? Well, uh, let me pause it for a second. And do we have two people set to mine? No, we only have one. Um, maybe the stone detailer here can also mine. Oh, you, yeah, you. Mine also. You set to mine. Can we look at the Pantheon here? Um, you prefer vanilla only yourself, but once you get too many doors to manage the labor, you prefer not to start Dwarf Therapist to use Diapack for that. I see. Dorkling prefers Diapack personally, as it does the same, but is more immersive. Dwarf Therapist feels more modded to my mind. I don't know. I just don't like, like, Dwarf Therapist abstracts out so much. I mean, I get it. Uh, you, once you have a certain number of dwar dwarves, it's just, it's a little crazy to manage without something. Um, so I get that. I don't think there's a way to look at gods here. I don't know you can't see, like, drop-down menus the way I have this set up. Um, I don't think I can look at deities. Yeah, I don't see anything like that. Attributes, military... Can I add one? Um, social. Yeah, it's all skills and stuff. Um, if any of you know how to look at deity stuff. All right, well, we'll add, we'll commit this, um, that mining job. And you guys need to remind me when I forget to take Dwarf Therapist off the screen. All right, here we go. So we have two miners. And we're making a little stockpile area, and then we'll move everything in there. And I don't know if I want to make a dorm first. Usually I just immediately start making bedrooms for everybody. But if this is going to be a fortress dedicated to worship of one god, I feel like it might be a little more like we are all one people sort of thing and everyone just sleeps in a big hostel kind of room. That might be interesting. Uh, what animals did we bring with us? It randomizes the animals you get. Oh, nice. We got a mating pair, a mated pair of animals, um, of yak bulls and cows, which is really nice, but we only have female dogs and cats. Um, you can get to them from the relationship screen. Yes, we can, and we will, we will definitely be doing that. Um, go to unit, status, relationships. Um, deity. Angit Dor Dorinid. Angit Doranid. Can we... Angit Diamond Rocks is a deity of the parched crafts. Angit most often takes the form of a female dwarf and is associated with metals. Okay. Uh, that's a possibility. And then... How about Rakust? Whose deity are you? Or who is your deity? Uzol Gusilmoldath. The best named dwarf in God you had was the Fragrant Beard. Um, spheres you can see by making a temple. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, we might do that. It's possible that we might want to dwarf that, um, a, a god that we don't actually worship. Oh, this is, this deity is very historied or something. What am I looking at here? View. Yeah. The deity of the parched crafts, Uzol's most, uh, I guess the parched crafts is our world. Uzol most often takes the form of a male dwarf and is associated with minerals. There's a lot of stuff here about this god in the history. Oh, I guess a lot of books about this god. That's mostly what this is. Just books and books written about this god. Okay. Uh, Shem, good name. Who is your deity? Akmamsador. 
The Sunken Emerald is a deity of the parched crafts. The Sunken Emerald most often takes the form of a male dwarf and is associated with rainbows, light, lakes, and coasts. That works out pretty well for our um, joyous wilds embark. We don't have a lake, but the rainbows kind of makes sense. Um, I think this one so far is in the is at the top. The Sunken Emerald is a great name too. Yeah, Parched Crafts is the civilization. Uh, Weirdian, you, you had, last night you had a god whose name translated to Cheese Death, and your statue carver worshipped him and every statue of him was cheese. That's, that's great. Um, okay, Odom. We will look at all of these, uh, for starting dwarves gods. Shasa, they all seem to have different ones. Shasam Budam. The Zephyr of Yearlings is a deity of the Parched Crafts. The Zephyr most often takes the form of a male dwarf and is associated with revelry. That, that could also work. How come they're all male dwarves? They all take the form of male dwarves. That's interesting. Reg, the fish cleaner. Who is your god? Toltot Gatinamash. Uh, most often takes the form of a female giant rat and is associated with animals. I don't know if that's quite... I'm glad that it's not another male dwarf. I don't know if that's quite the god that we're looking for. Uh, there are a lot of books written about this giant rat god, though, of animals. Um, uh, and then a deal. Onget, we've already seen your god. That's two for Onget, that uh, worship Onget. And Emast, Emast Dalzat. Emast, Emast Dalzat. Uh, Emast the Influential, Match, is a deity of the Parched Crafts. Emast most often takes the form of a male dwarf and is associated with persuasion. Cool dwarven name. Um, but yeah, I think, I think Odom's god here, Shesem, no, not, not yours, Shem's god. Shem, by the way, in Hebrew means name. Uh, Akmamsador, the sunken emerald. I, the god of bronies, oh yeah, the god of bronies, that's, that's this one. Um, dwarf patriarchy, yeah. Rusty, thanks for joining the stream. Uh, yeah, I think we're going with Akmamsador. Akmamsador is our new deity. Uh, which means Shem being the one god, the one god, the one uh, dwarf that uh, believes in this god, I think we have to make Shem a special appointment. Um, anyway, we're going to continue mining this out. That was kind of a little break to decide who that god would be, but I think we've decided. And I think we'll start, after we make this stockpile, before we build anything else, we might build a tiny temple, which will probably just like become the manager's office or something like that afterwards. In fact, we'll do that right now. Um, just a tiny temple, because we need something. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're all mining. It'll be a while before they get their mining skill up. <laughs> God of bronies. Uh, what is everyone else doing while we're doing this? Um, we could cut some trees down. Are all these bubble bulbs? Yeah, I've never played a joyous biome like this. This is, um, very interesting. I've never, I've never even seen someone play it. And birch trees. It is hard to identify the trees. Oh, I guess you can just go a level up to, to see. So we have birch trees and oak trees. Okay. Uh, but not a lot. Not a whole lot of treeage here. What is this? Oh, a swarm of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are in a joyous biome? Doesn't sound too joyous. Make Shem the expedition leader? Yeah, we could. Um, yeah, I think you're right. We'll make Shem the expedition leader. Let's replace you with Shem. Excellent. Good idea. And then if we have any say over it, we will exalt Shem. Or maybe just make Shem, like, the leader of the uh, temple or something like that. All right. Come on, you doors. Mine it out. Um, or a waterfall temple made out of rainbow-colored blocks. Oh, that sounds, that sounds tedious to build. But, uh, yeah, we could do that. Um, better bubbles than those eyeballs you get in evil biomes. Yeah. For sure. Uh, 
do I move my face? Is my face in a good place for all this? For is my head? Um, I think I should at least move it down. Whoops. To where? Ah, there. At least. Uh, vegetarian mosquitoes. <laughs> uh, that would be great. I would love vegetarian mosquitoes. Alright, this is almost all mined out. Nothing to catch in the central swamps. Um, we could, though... Let's, uh, set a zone. Let's set a little fishing zone here. Uh, water source and fishing. Cool. Just so they have somewhere. A lovely brook. Um... It has not gotten in the way so far. What has gotten in the way? The mosquitoes? Okay, um, let us put a stockpile here. That is not the stockpile. Uh, Q. No, not Q. Dang it. P. And this is going to be everything. We'll do custom settings. And this is going to be just allow... Uh, enable everything. Just enable everything. Except corpses and refuse. And that'll be... F and maybe not animals? And that'll be fine for now. And we'll take stuff out of it later. And this will be a custom stockpile from here to here. Cool. Uh, and I should deconstruct the wagon wherever it is. Where's our wagon? There it is. Uh, oh, I can name the wagon. I, I was kidding. Don't name the wagon. I'm done. Okay. Remove building. Slated for removal. Fantastic. Um, you think lower right is a good spot for my face? For Dwarf Fortress. Okay, great. Um, oh, you like the stash. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I've been, so when I moved, I couldn't find my, um, I had like nail scissors that I used to use to, uh, trim my mustache. And after we moved a few months ago, I couldn't find it. I still can't find it. So I just let it grow. And then it just got so long that it was kind of like gross and like getting in my mouth and stuff. I was like, I got to do something. So I, I got some mustache wax and now I'm going full villain with it. Uh, let's make a little temple. Uh, which is I, I believe. No. Yes, meeting area. Assign location. Add location. Temple. To... The Sunken Emerald. Coast Lakes. Oh, so let's look at... Here are all the gods. Um, we haven't seen all of these. We have a god here of jewels, wealth, trade, fortresses, and war. Sounds like a cool god. We've seen Anget, we've seen Uzol, Erib is the god of mountains and caverns, Toltat, the god of animals, um, we, and this is our god. We have a god of the moon and scholarship, Revelry we've seen, god of lust, we could make it, um, no, we're not going to do that. Um, Imast we've seen, and Mingtooth, luck, games, and gambling. Yeah, we're definitely going Sunken Emerald here. Coast, lakes, light, and rainbows. This is our rainbow god. <laughs> uh, excellent. The Temple of Cobalt. Very good. Now our dwarves can worship there. We will have no general temples. All temples will be to this god. Um, uh, have any special plant life like those sunberries? Oh, uh, they make good beer. It is quite the guy, guy forks. Guy, guy Fox, thank, thank you. Um, is, oh, like a hungry Guy Fox. Uh, sunberries. Um, probably, I guess let's go to the top here and see what we can harvest. Um, we'll set, I guess I can just look around for a little bit. Pebbles, boulders, sand, lentils. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll look at all the green things. Spelt, whip vines, willow sapling. Uh... Downy grass, more lentils, blackberries. Not seeing that, not seeing sunberries. 
seeing some good fruit though. Uh, maybe lower. Maybe like down here? Oh, we have some different trees down here, I think. Uh, peas I saw? Pea plants? We have maple trees down here. Cranberries. But yeah, I'm not seeing sunberries, unfortunately. What about... Yeah, cranberry. Uh... <laughs> uh... Yeah. Oh well. Uh, maybe it, maybe somewhere, but I'm not seeing it right now. If we can find some and get just one, then in theory we could start planting it. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Um, and... What do we want next? Um, I think we're going to want some kind of workshop. Well, we're going to need farms also. And this might be a good place for farms. We have chert. I don't actually know what chert is. Is chert something you can grow on or is it rock? Um, I should have the wiki up while I'm doing this. Let's see. Uh, dwarf fortress wiki. I'm going to look up chert. Chert uh, is a brown stone, magma safe, but unremarkable. It's nice to have, uh, have a magma safe stone, though. But yeah, we are not going to be able to grow on this. Um, if I have a spare dwarf, I should just plant gather a good sized block. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Um, but we can't grow here. And I don't want to just... I guess we'll have to go a little higher to do that. I might want to... What I might do, actually, so that I can grow um, above ground crops as well, is I might just dig out um, a whole layer here and then um, plant over it to expose it to the sun. Uh, let's see. We're here. If we're going to be going up, like over here, uh, let's, oh, I see some kind of animal over there. Um, let's channel out an area. Maybe up here. Maybe, yeah, above the waterfall. Channel all that out. And we'll put a farm there. A nice farm. Um, yeah, let's do it. And I guess while we're here, we, we might as well chop down the, uh, the trees that are right here. Cool. All right, so what is this animal? Oh, a kangaroo buck. All right, not, not super threatening. Uh, we have people fishing as well. Cool. Uh, I guess I should put a hotkey here as well. We'll make this F2. This will be a uh, farm. I might rename that. And then we're going to want a place to dig down. Um, I just realized this is only one. I need to make this wider. I should not have put the temple right here. But maybe it's fine. We can have our trading post be outside. Maybe. We could have a trading post up here and not have to come in and just have this be a channel for other things. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. All right, let's mine this out. And... Let's come over here. Let's go in the middle of this thing. I think this is the middle. Pretty sure. Cool. Like ants. Yeah, we'll need a pasture. Shem is expedition leader. Excellent. Uh, let's look at what kind of animals we have on the map. Um, 
Giant Cardinals and Kangaroo Bucks. Giant Cardinals sound, um, kind of terrifying. A huge monster in the form of a Cardinal. Uh, hopefully they won't swoop down and attack us. That's my hope.